Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now that we've explored the town, it's finally time to go and fight the Ice Gym. Eh, I lost. It all went to pot. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I think just what I've seen Lee do in battles. Here, take this. It's an Ice Leader gym card. You should check out my gym. You should check out the gym leader you have to face too. Melanie's card. You put the card in your elbow. Yeah! And me, I'm gonna figure out what to do um, to put my team once and for all and no more doubting. Yeah, get rid of that sheep. Don't use your sheep. Oh, Mr. Ball Guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling on by to have a chat with your might, Mr. Ball Guy. I heard that a wishing star fell to you. That means you were chosen by the wishing star. And that also means I've got a Pokeball for you. Here you go. The Moon Ball. The Moon Ball is good for catching fairy type Pokemon. Moon Balls are curious Pokeballs. They're very good at catching Pokemon that evolve by using a Moonstone on them. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? So what's interesting about this gym, I just realized this one in uh, the uh, other gym I fought with the ghost type is uh, if you play Pokemon Sword, it's different because Pokemon Sword, instead of fighting in the uh, ghost gym, you'll fight in the gym against bugs. And in this gym, instead of fighting an ice gym, you'll fight against a uh, rock type Pokemon. It's a rock gym, which I think is better as an ice. I, I don't know why they would switch, of all the gyms, they would switch this one to a rock gym. Because it's a, it's a snow town. The only one you're going to want to face is a ice Pokemon. Hi there, gym challenger. Do you want to attempt the gym mission? Well, of course I do. Wonderful. <laughs> Then please use the changing room to change into your uniform and proceed onward to begin the mission. Mm. Oh, my back. Please head on in to pick the trap detector. You'll need it for the gym mission. Hmm, a trap detector, okay. Let's see. Look at that. My, my. I, I wonder if this is like that Zelda. Okay. Like uh, that Zelda level where you, you go one direction and you don't stop until you hit a wall. Would you like to see to hear the details of the gym in Churchester? Then allow me to explain a little bit about the trap detector you're holding in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible platforms. Oh, invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall in one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer to hold, the stronger the vibration. Okay, not what I was thinking, but it's like ice uh, walking on a lake. And if you walk on a piece that's too thin, you'll fall through. Can you hear me? Stay calm. Okay, well, that's weird. This way. Uh, you thought you'd seen the last of me? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Trainer Lewis. Ah! Here, here's an ice type. Fight him. Yeah, Mr. Ice Type, I know just how to take you out. Ice Type are supposed to be weak to fighting, so I'm surprised my fighting move didn't say super effective too. But whatever. I still have a fire move, so I should put this guy near the back. I had him up front, but I forgot I gotta fight like three people before I 
go to the gym leader. What? There's no way I can lose. Here's my fist. See, I have a dark finger, and I got three light fingers, and then I got a real finger. And here's the money. They're inside my fingers. All right, let's switch up this type. What? I can't go camping here. I don't want the grass type. He's gonna be the worst one. Actually, metal's gonna be pretty bad, too. Because metal... Ice is good against... Um, no, ice is not good against metal. But it's definitely good against grass. Oh, and it's good against dragons. Hmm. Well... I guess we'll just put him up there. And for the rest of this uh, match, I'll have to keep these two out of it. Unless I really need them, which I won't. My Pokemon are good. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, can't go that way. Hmm. Maybe I can't go this way at all. But let's see. All right, good. Ah, I see now. Good, good. I don't know who's all these people talking. Must be the audience. Can I go around you? No? Alright, we'll have to go through you then. The Gym Challenger, how freeze you. Hand your Pokemon solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. Cause that's how we do it here in the Ice Gym. <laughs> Liana. Yeah, go Cloyster. Yeah, Cloyster used to not only, used to be not an Ice type until Ice type was created back in, oh, whatever year, it doesn't matter. Iron Head. I think Cloyster would have did better as a, a metal type than a ice type as a secondary. But who's talking? You know, like they could have turned that that up um, gray color on him into metal. Maybe a metal type. He doesn't really even look like a. Ice type. He can even be. I'd rather even he can even be poison. Okay, so if one of my guys wants to learn Rock Blast, the user hurls rocks at the target. Two to five. And I don't really like those ones. The ones where it's like two to five, because it's like when I use it, it's only two, and when they use it, it's like five. It's like garbage for me. Good for the computer. Well, that's a decent amount of money. Thank you, lady. Did better than that last guy. Probably about twice as much as the last guy. What? I thought they wanted me to go fight him. Well, I want to fight him whether they don't or not. I like to make my Pokemon very strong. Very, very strong. You're gonna fight Alexander. He's got a bear. Nice. I want to evolve my uh, little bear to the big one he's got. It's that little bear that has like boogers falling out of his nose that evolves into this. The boogers fell onto his chin, and now the boogers are his beard. Hmm. My moves should be overpowering. I'm way stronger than him. My Pokemon are at like level 50. He's still in the 30s. There we go. Oh. oh no. She might get cross at me if she hears I lost to a challenger. Well, you're just a, a guy with one Pokemon. Of course you're going to lose to a challenger. You think somebody that got past all those other gyms is not gonna... 
be able to beat you. All right, now we should be good. All right, All right, no, no, no. Oh, these shenanigans. Will I ever make it to the platform? Okay. Ooh, that was a tough one. One of those zones. There was a way that you didn't have to fight anybody. Okay, now... I think I'm gonna be facing the leader now. So let's get that... One of my three weaker Pokemon out of the way. It's not that they're weaker, it's just that this gym... They're not so good at this gym. Oh, I'm not done yet. Don't worry, we'll get you out. But it looks like they brought it up a notch. Person? It's just a platform. The person is probably right here. Nope. Uh, someone's coming up. There we go. There he is. Yeah. You like the fog? Well, like this. Time to battle. <laughs> See my eyes closed? Yeah. That's how I battle. Oh, they're open. Oh, boy. Close them. Oh, wants to Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, boy. I want to catch one of those. I'm not saying I don't have a lower form. I, I don't know. Maybe I got one that evolves into it. There's a knife slash in here. What an iron head. I know. Could have brought my big guns out, but I'm gonna save my. Uh, Three good Pokemon against the gym leader. Save those for the gym leader. Bring out my weaker ones for these weaker people. Just like you won because you believed in your Pokemon, believe in yourself and move forward. Yeah, here's the money. Hmm, there might be another person to fight before I get to the gym leader. platform here. We're almost there. Well, at least there's no fog. There we go. Now it's time to face the gym leader. Heal anybody because the only Pokemon I use, I'm not going to use him in the gym battle. My guy's still walking around like an idiot holding his little metal detectors. I wonder if it's the same in Pokemon Sword. They got that thing walking around the rock gym. 
It probably is the exact same thing, except it's from snow. It's, it's uh, rocks. She's bigger than I thought she would be. I think she's the missing one that wasn't there. I'm Melanie, as you can clearly see. I've assembled a team of ice-type Pokemon, like, yeah, and you? You aren't sore all over from falling into those holes, or two, or are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back, because I'm not nice. I'm, like, pretending that I'm not nice, but I am nice. I gotta hide my face to kind of, like, hide my poker face, because I'm not really good at it. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid, so, um... I hope you brought some food to wait until you thaw out. I do that all the time. Like, are you ready? I'm hungry. Can I eat? Did you bring, like, food for me? I know I'm gonna freeze you, but I'm gonna get hungry while you thaw out. I'm gonna be, like, wanting to eat. Okay, so... This Pokemon she's got is, of course, ice. I'm guessing the other half of it is a bug type. I want to use thunder. Oh, no, no, I don't want to use that yet. I want to use thunder, but... I might as well just do a quick knockout. I know fire's going to be but she's got it. The abominable man with a big bump on his head. Like, yeah, I use this Pokemon all the time. I want to drain some of that head. He's got drain punch. Yeah. Yeah, drain it right out of his head. Nope, still there. And it's got some, like, diamonds in it. Nice. Okay, like... This is not gonna be your day. Like, I'm gonna beat you with this Pokemon here. Are you ready? Here it is. Yeah, like this little penguin, he's gonna defeat you. Yeah, because he's got ice on his head. What are you gonna do about that? How about another fire punch? Yeah, right in the face. Yeah, melt that fire. What? <laughs> now you can actually see his face. But that's what this Pokemon's superpower is. His superpower is that... That, uh, Big Chia Ice takes the first hit. Now, another Fire Punch. Right after you do your Hail thing. I'm sure all of her Pokemon have this move. So that if any of them- oh oh. This one is going to be trouble. Now I need a move that's like a double hit. I'm gonna drain some of his health from him. He's quick, look, he gets to go first. Hmm. What if I finally get a hit on him? Nice. That's all I need. One hit. As long as it's not a weak move. It hurts him. And I got my health back. Now what are you gonna do, Miss Lady? Lapras, ooh. Lapras is nice. Lapras is also a water type. We'll bring out my water type. Just in case Lapras tries to use a water move, they won't hurt me. What are you gonna do, Miss Lady? Like, even if it cracks, I'm gonna show you what it means. Oh yeah, that's that's a beauty. That's a beautiful Pokemon you got there, Miss Lady. Oh yeah. But time to hurt your little what? Come on now, go on, Gigantamax. You're gonna Gigantamax him? Oh boy. I'm sorry. I say that to my Pokemon here. 
because I oh I actually didn't think that was gonna be very effective because he's a water type and he's the rock type move. But because he's ice, now he's weak to rocks. Now it's starting to rain. Uh oh. Yeah, left leftovers. That was good to carry some leftovers on it. Now. I don't actually want to end up Dynamax this one. And there you go. You used your Dynamax on that one. And you still have another Pokemon left. Don't you? I think you do. I think I only defeated three, and you got like four, so. Bring them out. Really? That's it? That's all you got? Really? You're a gym leader, and that's all you got? You just want to climb into a hole? Well, I guess, like, it'd be more, like, falling from here, right? Here's some money. Well, that was way too easy. Much easier than I thought. Didn't even feel like a real battle. It felt like I was fighting another weak, uh, regular person. You're, like, pretty good, huh? Well, of course, seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with so much ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. <laughs> Did you bring food with you? Because I'm, like, hungry again. Like, that battle made me so hungry, I need to eat something. Like, here, you can now catch up to level 50 Pokemon, and for some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, wouldn't you? I need someone to beat him up. Teach him how to be a son. Alright, Jason. My sincere congratulations, your victory over the gym leader Melody. Now please take this commoderation tip, TM, a C wing for all your like ice Pokemon and stuff. The user attacks with the gust of chilled air. This also becomes lowers the opponent's Pokemon speed. Here, a uniform for you too. It's the same as what Melody wears, so it's quite popular replica ice uniform. Yeah, I don't think her uniform is going to look very well on my guy. It's not red enough, I guess. The ice badge looks great on you, Jason. Keep it at it, Jason. Well, really? I thought there was going to be more. This is kind of a bummer. Don't you people have something to say? Kabuta? Why are you talking about, like, ancient Pokemon? Oh, she's talking about the gym leader, Kabu. Losing a match in the city of snow really chills you. Chills the bones, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Sounds like she lost. I guess I didn't need to worry about you slacking off after all, huh? Yeah, if you guys bet your money, I've got to watch the news. This match is on the news again. Courage doesn't do any good if it comes from the wrong strategy. So, what I was saying is that lady should have bet money on me. She would have made some money. I'll make some bets in town. Here's where things get interesting. That battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Not at all. Like, you didn't even, like, hurt your Pokemon at all. Like, you, maybe she hurt you a little, but then you, like, used that move to, like, gain your health back. Churchester has some really great restaurants. Why don't you uh, go on a date or something, hmm? Huh? I've got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant and celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's. Your uncle. My uncle. Alright, well let's head on over there. Don't wait, you know. When Sonia asks you out on a date, you never say no. You just get there. You go on that date. What? This is a double date? Well then who who's the other person? What is this, a, a, a triple date? What's going on? What kind of date is this, huh? Gee, why'd you have to bring Hop here? Or did Hop just appear? Got that gym badge, Jason. Nice one. Oh, hey, uh, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day and the sword and shield. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was here in the last episode, and I saw that wall. And I just knew she would be very interested in something like this. So she got no luck. 
I got it. Hold on. Wait a second. No way. What's this? A new chapter in the old Gala Legends? A fifth tapestry? An absolutely fantastic poster. Ooh. I want to say fifth tapestry because that's what I said last time. But, uh... An absolutely fantastic poster is great. <laughs> exactly. Bob, with his brilliant smile, must be part of the legend. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Wait, what are you on about? Don't confuse me! The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? Oh, yeah, I see. They're on the gravestones. Oh, yeah. What was the meaning of this picture? That means the Pokemon died. The an end to the legend. Some kind of seal. You think so? I guess it could be that. They were sealed away, or maybe they've gone into some kind of sleep. Well, based on some statues we saw back in Stoicide, the sword and shield were like actually like two Pokemon, right? That's ridiculous. I mean, that's right. That's my take on it, at least. Like, Jason, you remember the Pokemon we met the day? Do you think it could be really one of them? Either the sword or the shield, is it? You met them. Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Jason? Don't, don't, don't put me out like that. Uh, I don't know what this, this hop is talking about. Not so stop. When it's not about battle, huh? Don't you remember that mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog that day? Don't you think it could have been it? Oh, like that's right. You, you lot, you lot have been in the slumbering wheel. Sometimes it's hard to, to understand what these guys are talking about because you know, people in English don't actually speak like that in America. You lot, what, what is she talking about? Gee, woman. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. And you've got to tell me more. Well, hold on. Now, last time I saw you, Sonia, you left off with Leon to find an explosion in the middle of a um, hammerlock, and you never came back and told me anything. And now you want me to tell you about this Pokemon? I don't know. I, need, I think I need some reassurance here. Well, how about we discuss this over a meal? Come on. What do you want to eat? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Feed me some food. And then... Then we'll talk. There we go. And you're paying, Sonia. Yeah, you're paying. Fascinating. All right. The next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Churchester. Let's inspect the hero's path. I mean, bath. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battling to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that bathe here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wild. Perhaps you can become new heroes. Yeah? Well, I like some hero waiting around the sword and shield. Pull the other one. Although I guess I'm, I'd am i fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. Like, what kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why? Don't you want, why don't we show her, Jason? Think we can pull off a heroic battle? Really? I just... Okay, you're lucky that that hero battle I just did was 
super easy. Because you're going to be super easy too, Hoppy. Your lame sheep Pokemon. Sonia treated us with a great meal. After that, Curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. Like, I don't understand entirely your reasoning, but I might as well just see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Jason. So give it your best. Yeah, because Hop thought he was going to cheat. Alright, well, she healed you up. Now, we're, now you're fully matched. Now, time for a little exhibition match. Starring the future champion, you. Yeah, Jason, you're going to be the future champion. Because I couldn't really even pass this ice gym. And you did it with no problem. So here, the stupid cheap Pokemon, he evolved. So now I think he's actually a good Pokemon, right? Right? No, he's still stupid cheap. Look at that. I'll take him out with one hit. Watch, because he's so slow. Yeah. That deals with your problem. Now that's proper move. Buffered by the hail. Oh, this kid wants to be out here. I'm gonna keep him because I'm about to face a bird. And I have a great move against the bird. Just like I did with the gym leader, I probably take all his Pokemon out with one Pokemon. Hitmonchan's like my best Pokemon that I got. Yeah, it's super effective, but how come it's still alive? And that's also super effective. Yeah, you better hurt him too with that hail. Give him another thunder punch. And he's out. Ooh, level 55. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to level my Pokemon up again before I go to the next gym battle. Pokemon Trainer Hop is about to send out Snorlax. Oh yeah, I definitely need somebody else. But who? Who should I take out? Actually, once again, Hitmon Chan is my best bet. It's Snorlax. But this is good. Because my fighting move is what's good against him, and my fighting move is also what's going to bring my health back. There we go. Great. I did want to switch him out, but they made it too easy. Too easy. I got a good move against all of his Pokemon. Because he's such a weak champion, huh? have him out because eventually he's gonna bring out his top leading Pokemon and I'm gonna wipe the floor with him. There he is. Inteleon. Listen to the beat of my drum as I wipe the floor with you. Super effective. Steady on, partner. I feel your pain. He didn't even get a chance to use his potion. Should've used that on the bird. It's the only time it would've been good. And... Just to get out somebody that hasn't battled yet. I don't think I've used horse wheel this whole time. He would have been great in the gym. The other Pokemon he really did a great job wiping them out, but didn't even get to him. Think you've got me concerned? Well, not today. Okay, so you got to yourself a new Pokemon. Now evolve a new Pokemon. How about that? I'll just use a Heat Crush. I know. You think sitting on a spiky Pokemon would be bad? Well, I'm a rock. 
crush those spikes. Jeez, I still can't even beat you, my true rival. But I think I'm starting to see the light. Yeah, why? You giving up? Thanks, you two gave a right proper battle. At the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering world. Uh oh, that's... I'm gonna keep challenging that gym. Then once that gym badge, I'll be heading to Route 9 to take on Spike Muff the next. Okay, so he's going where I'm going. She's going where I want to go. Back to the smothering world so I can catch a new Pokemon. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon be worried if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? Well, see ya. Nobody ever lets you talk. Nobody cares about you talk. All they want you to do is just beat them. Alright. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Because we are done now. Please like and subscribe and continue to watch.